Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers the movie. This is the retro reissue of Generation 1 Kickback. So we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We are of course going to compare him with his original Generation 1 self and of course with the other um, first release in sector cons as well so he's probably going to stick out like an absolute sore thumb and we're also going to have a quick look how he looks and compares to his e-hobby version which was based on the original diaclone version of himself and of course we can see how he looks with the rest of the movie color edition figures including that special japanese one as well from years ago so as i managed to knock bombshell over and i've started to put them all back i'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if i'd hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and also to thank hasbro pulse because they managed to get this out as you can see really quickly um, and really safely and really well packaged i only pre-ordered him a couple of days ago and he's here already right let's have a look at the box because let's be honest the box is beautiful and i know so many mint and seal box collectors who are happy because of how lovely this looks so we've got both modes there the artwork is spectacular it's a lovely wrap around box there's unicron at the top we've got a homage to the original generation one boxes where you've got the transformation process on the top um, and then again as I say it wraps around that side and then we've got some actual product images with some energon cubes which i believe this comes with there's both modes there there's the tech specs just in case anybody wants to read it they can pause it and have a look now right let's open him up and of course we've got closed box because hasbro don't use packaging sorry plastic packaging anymore and that should also mean that when we open this up there won't be any plastic ties either now this annoys me because i don't want to damage or rip the box nope i'm going to attempt the other side now um, because I'm opening it anyway, I just don't want to rip the box. Unfortunately, with the pink hot rod one, I did actually rip the box on the video, <laughs> which that's much better. That's going to be the bit that we don't need anyway, so that can be thrown away. And let's see how he looks when he comes out. Wow, this is completely stuck in. Look at that. So again, this will make you aware if this happens to yourself. It's a super tight fit. Super tight fit. He is like that so what i'm going to do oh, the colors look completely different it looks great i'm going to set him free and the energy on cubes and come straight back to you oh, okay so i've set him free from the packaging and just very quickly we've got his blaster which again is exactly the same as the g1 just a different color as in it's not chrome at all and we've got six energy on cubes as well which is brilliant and i'll show you why in a second um, i've just grabbed my earthrise ones and as you can see they are actually different colors so the new ones are slightly more pink and they just look that little bit more. Yeah, they look that little bit more vibrant, shall we say. Right. For those of you wondering as well about the box size and dimensions compared to the original, let's quickly bring the original one in. This is much, much bigger. I think it's thicker as well. Um, if you have a quick look, let's have a look. No. So the original one is thicker. Uh, but this one is much, much longer. So if you're after a display case, you don't want an Insecticon size one from G1 because it's just not big enough. So this one is way bigger. It's not as wide. Um, and obviously it's much, much higher. So I just wanted to show you that just in case you are after something like that. Right. Let's put that back away nice and safely. The figure comes pretty much, yeah, in the alternate mode. So this is the alternate mode, obviously. Let's bring these up. And I'm just really surprised at the colours. Um, not as impressed or as surprised as I was with Perceptor. If anything, they look a little dull, to be honest. Um, I don't think they look too bad, um, but they do look just that little dull. Uh, the figure itself, yeah, you still can't really attach his weapon to him anywhere in his alternate mode. His alternate mode's okay, let's be honest. It's just, you've got to remember, these are very, very primitive figures. What I do like, though, is look, we've gone back to the sharper... Um, wings but that's because these are really soft now whereas before with the chrome um they had to round them off when they were original diaclone figures though um, which we'll see in a second they did have the sharp points as well we'll see that a little bit more in a second when we see the robot mode but compared to the original you know we're going to look at it in both modes the color scheme it's really obviously different i mean glaringly obviously different let me just see if i can pick this 
up and get him in position. Unfortunately, this original one, as you can tell, has seen a bit of better days. Now, I don't know if I prefer the translucent or that plastic. I mean, obviously, that's much more cartoon accurate. Um, so I suppose, to be fair, I'm not, you can tell I'm not really digging the alternate mode. I'm sure it's going to be all about the robot mode, in all honesty. I am going to do the transformation process, so let's have a look at it. It's super simple. Watch me forget it now. I've said that. So let's fold the insect legs up. This will then, of course, give you, that is really stiff, by the way. This will give you the uh, normal legs. You don't obviously then spin the waist around because there is no waist to spin around. You're going to lift the wings up. You're going to rotate the head around. I've just noticed that there's a Decepticon logo on the head. I never noticed that until now. So that's a nice little touch. We can then bring the antenna up. We can then bring these together, which is his claws. Hold onto the wing, spin this around. And now you've got your um, arms and I suppose little claws as well. Right, let me pop him there because there's a couple of other figures I want to bring in to compare him with as well. Right then, so let's do some comparisons. Of course, let's do the Generation 1 original first and foremost. And this is where it's really apparent, obviously, the colours in these. This is obviously gotten with the cartoon accurate head. This was the original head. If you remember with this particular release of the figure, the legacy version, you did in fact get the extra head in the Buzzworthy set. So funnily enough, with the legacy version, um, I've actually gone with the cartoon accurate head, which is very similar. Uh, uh, to that it does look great now what i really like about this is the fact that you've got the energon blocks and of course this will be to fold out yeah there you go look you can put some of the energon cubes inside his chest now for those of you who don't know the original figure had this because in the die clone which is what they were released you'd actually put a pilot in there someone who would control him rather than um again anything to actually store so because they've kept that feature which is brilliant and the fact that you can actually store things in i think that's a great great idea and a great homage to it and the final one i just want to quickly bring in even though he's nothing like him that's the fall of cybertron um kickback which is huge as well um and you can see nothing like that one at all to be fair they're all the ones we need to look at just going to move him out of the way and then indeed bring in the e-hobby which uses the color scheme based on his original diaclone version all of them look great really like these figures um all of them really impressed with them all let me just bring in quickly the other g1 insecticons as i say even though they're going to stick out like a sore thumb because you'll see all the chrome on them and of course these are quite bold doesn't look too bad with all them obviously we've got shrapnel coming very soon in this lineup as well which you can see he looks great last quick thing then just for a bit of fun before we bring in the other figures is let's have a close look at him with some articulation so let's move all these out of the way now the articulation i'm sure you can guess is incredibly limited we can turn the head that's it we can turn the shoulders and you can maybe pincer a couple of things but the detail on it is good it's just again the very basic mold this still feels like die cast which of course is what it was in the original let's just slot the gun over like so see how that just simply fits easily over there no issues whatsoever liking it liking it and i suppose let's be honest because these are claws there's no reason why you can't yep there you go you can hold on to an energon cube as well right then let's see if i can get all of these in on screen just to finish this off um, this one again just in case people ask is a japanese um, exclusive he's not even going to fit because he's too big let's see if i can tilt that up there we go right thundercracker's already near um, this is good though because obviously hound is so small it's nice to have some other figures that indeed are going to be small there's star screen let me just see if i can get these in i haven't got the biggest area anymore to do these videos but i should have enough space to bring these in there's little hound perceptor's quite tall especially if i put him in between yep like so and then at the moment there is magenta hot rod so at the moment that is the lineup as i say that's a bonus japanese release um but we're looking forward to shrapnel i believe coming next but anyway guys there you go there's kickback let me know what you think of him in the comments and of course take care